First logger, thought I'd take my first stab at uh, harvesting some yeast. Took uh, two packs in a three liter starter to get this uh, Mybach going. And uh, you know, 15 bucks, 20, well, uh, $16 for, for yeast is, you know, for a good beer, not bad. But if I can harvest this crap and repitch it and do it again without spending that money, that'd be great. So I uh, actually got a whole gallon, which I know is a ton. Should have uh, should have got some footage of uh, how much, I mean, just solid white yeast was at the bottom. I swirled it up with, with uh, I don't know, it was probably half solids and half uh, of the of the beer left in there. Swirled it all up. Got these uh, all filled to the top. These are one quart jars. I'm gonna I think I might let them settle out. See, uh, maybe see about combining them and just uh, having two quarts. That way I can have. Uh, two big pitches and uh, yeah see how it goes what's up guys uh, back in the brew chair again about to get another uh, brew day started up today we're gonna be doing another IPA this is actually an experiment I've been wanting to do for a while um, been going through the other IPA pretty quickly still isn't turning out quite exactly how I want getting some weird off flavors I initially thought were oxidation but uh, now I've kind of narrowed that out um, I think maybe it's either, uh, I've been dry hopping in the keg, uh, had a lot of people tell me that they haven't had a problem with it, a lot of people on the AHA forum say they don't have a problem with it, but um, I'm going to try it again later on, maybe in a couple weeks, maybe a month, uh, won't dry hop in the keg, and uh, if that doesn't get rid of it, then I'm going to have to chalk it up to Galaxy, just don't like the stuff. Thought I did, got a local brewery that, uh, one of their flagship beers is called Pale Galaxy, it's just like a smash Galaxy Maris Otter beer that I love, but I don't know who knows. But uh, today we're going to be doing a uh, almost a smash beer. We're going to be taking my uh, base IPA recipe that I always do. It's uh, I don't know percentages off the top of my head, but 12 pounds uh, two row, a pound of Munich, half pound of Crystal 60, and uh, about a pound of table sugar in there as well. Um, but uh, since I've got a ton of Apollo, I bought a pound on sale from Yakima Valley Hops, and uh, I've had a lot of mixed, uh, heard a lot of mixed things about Apollo. Some people saying it gives off like some really good flavors, dank resin, pine with a little bit of uh, grapefruit citrus, and then I've even heard some people say it's got that weird uh, garlic and onion weirdness to it that uh, some people kind of attribute to Mosaic or Simcoe. I've never tasted those flavors, so uh, totally going for it today. We're going to be hopping the hell out of this beer with Apollo. I'm going to bitter with a one ounce charge, and then um, probably going to do like four ounces Whirlpool for like 30 minutes, and then dry hop with three ounces. Just knock the crap out of it, use up some of the hops I've already got, and uh, see what happens. Uh, so I'll get a little bit of uh, footage going here and there throughout the brew day. It's already been a long long afternoon been getting um, kegged up the Mybach today um, which was uh, pretty nice uh, that thing attenuated perfectly uh, Beersmith kept saying it was gonna get down to like 1018 1016 which isn't really what I wanted um, but uh, I put a pretty big uh, yeast charge into that thing three liters of a nice active uh, starter um, and uh, it got down all the way to 10, 11, 10, 12, which is perfect, exactly what I wanted. Um, so I kegged it up today. I actually did gelatin finding for the very first time today because I want to make sure that this lager is nice and crystal clear. Um, so I think I might let it condition, even though I'm doing the brewlosophy sort of uh, method. I might let it sit for a week off CO2 just to uh, sort of settle out that gelatin and whatnot. Then put it on the CO2, um, about 10 or 12 PSI, let it sit for a week, and then uh, see how it goes from there. But uh, I'll get some footage, and uh, we'll see you later. Cheers. All right. 
in case y'all didn't think I had a ton of yeast. It's only been 20 minutes or so. You can already see some crazy striation here. You can see all the pop and uh, break material here. And then you can see, uh, I don't know, the beer at the very top here. See some cloudiness and solids. But I mean, after 20 minutes, uh, the difference there is pretty crazy. I think I might have uh, a nice collection of uh, 2124 Bohemian Lager on uh, on hand for a good while now. I might have to come up with some more uh, more lagers to brew with this stuff. All right, I'm not exactly sure what gave me this idea, but I've got myself a uh, very ghetto system running here. I've seen a few people with their nice uh, Herms or Rim systems, whatever the hell the difference is. They've been uh, underletting in their uh, into their mash tun, and I thought, well, why can't I do it this way? <laughs> into the bottom there. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna try it out. I don't usually have a problem with dough balls the way I do it anyway, but I thought, well, if I just go ahead and get the grain in there and then the water and not have to do it all myself then uh, we'll do it that way. Looks like it's draining all right. I don't really see any water coming up in the grain bed yet here. I could be, uh, <laughs> I could be very wrong about all of this, but uh, I guess we'll see. All right, now it's starting to come through a little bit here. So, Pretty thick, but get it mashed in here. All right, finally got it in. Had to, uh, obviously, because I don't have a pump, pick up and pour the rest of it in. But uh, it was an experiment that didn't really yield any any differences. But heck, why not try it, right? And uh, I'm been shooting for a. Uh, 148, I'm gonna check a few spots. Looks like I am pretty darn close. Everything's saying, oh, ooh, got a hot spot there. Check that up. Yeah, perfect. I'm gonna mash for uh, 75 minutes. I want a very, uh, very fermentable wort here. I want to get this bad boy as dry as I can get it. All right, guys. Got our setup here. It's gonna be pretty simple. One ounce of Apollo at 60 minutes. Gonna get some yeast nutrient in there, maybe 15 minutes, 10 minutes, along with a pound of sugar. And then bam, look at that. Four ounces, just as a comparison, one ounce. Well, as you might have guessed, uh, <laughs> the phone ran out of uh, memory right in the middle of my brew day. And I did not I did not get around to uh, making any room to get any more footage. So uh, yeah, that's all I got. Uh, the brew actually, the brew day turned out not so great. Um, I am not sure what happened, but I, uh, I ended up almost 10 points under my projected uh, starting gravity, uh, 1058 instead of 1068. So, not so great, not sure what happened. Um, just have to go back over some notes and see. Uh, another thing that I did was uh, I forgot my smack pack up at work, and so I wasn't able to make a starter. Um, and so uh, I just pitched the uh, 1272, just the pack straight in, um, which I was a little worried about, even though uh, it was a pretty good, uh, pretty uh, recently manufactured uh, package. Um, I was kind of worried that maybe I was under pitching and then uh, after about 12 hours I had some activity so it was okay it was good and then uh, after maybe 36 hours I had a little bit of a blowout because it was so active I was like wow okay good yeast uh, cleaned it all up and uh, put on a new airlock came back uh, I don't know maybe 24 hours later and it looked like the Krausen was starting to fall back into the fermenter it's like great everything's on track cool came back another 12 hours and it had blown up everywhere I mean made a complete disaster of a mess in the uh, fermentation chamber 
just going nuts. I'm not sure what what's going on with it. I mean, that happened yesterday, so that's about six days uh, after initial start of fermentation. Um, I'm not used to that at all, especially after seeing a big blow up and then you know the crowds and kind of dropping back down. But whatever, I tasted the sample. Didn't seem uh, like there was anything wrong with it whatsoever. Very yeasty, so I'm not gonna. <laughs> assume that any of those flavors are actually going to be in the beer because it was very very yeasty um but yeah just a little uh, wrap up of the brew day uh, i've got had the mybach on uh on gas for about a week now and uh, i think i'm gonna pull a sample tonight just to kind of test it see how it goes get that gelatin out of the bottom as well um the third version of uh the sci-fi pa starting to mellow out a little bit that weird off oxidized grassy weird flavor is starting to mellow out a little bit which is nice but uh the uh the aroma along with it so it's kind of just kind of like a bitter pale ale now it's still good but uh i'm ready to get that uh get that keg kicked so that i can get this uh, apollo apollo uh ipa in there but other than that that's all i got this week uh taking a week off of brewing uh not going to have anything going right now, but uh, we'll give you some updates next week and see what we got. Cheers, guys. 